As team coverage for you this evening, Eric Rucker is in Placerville with a closer look at those roads on Highway 50. Chief Meteorologist Christina Werner monitoring all of those conditions across our region from here in the studio. We'll get started though with Zach Boetto in Colfax where traffic conditions have been a concern all night. Zach, we know that earlier tonight you were able to catch up uh, with CHP to ask them what happens from here. They're saying that you got to take it easy on the roads when it's snowy like it has been over the last couple of hours. Right now, no snow, and that has made it very frustrating for drivers stuck here in Colfax. Some of them have been stuck here since 1 o'clock this afternoon, and those Caltrans officials say very snowy conditions still up top, and now they're saying that I-80 eastbound may be closed throughout the night. Few people can make a positive situation out of being stuck on I-80 like this group here. I mean, I think we're just contemplating whether or not we're going to just stay out here or head back now, but we just wanted to get a, a little playtime in the snow just before we go back. They were one of hundreds of cars turned around Thursday near Colfax after Caltrans decided to shut down travel because of spinouts and snowy road conditions. California Highway Patrol Auburn calling the snow at lower elevations a little bit of a surprise, but warning drivers to be extra safe and preparing for the expected weather ahead. If you're not familiar with driving in the snow, you definitely want to um, go slow or pick a different day to travel if you, if you can do that. For some drivers who thought getting on the road on Thursday would help their chances of making their weekend plans a success, the Caltrans road closure at Colfax put a stop to that real quick. This weekend is the Stifle Tahoe uh, World Cup ski racing on Saturday, Sunday. So I had a place up there for checking in tonight and getting out Sunday and, the, uh, you know, just trying to get up there right now. Yeah, and how are you feeling about, you know, not being able to get up? Uh, not good. Yeah, uh, really, you know, we got got tickets for the racing, got tickets for the, uh, for the hotel. I don't want to eat all that. I just want to get up there. And as it got darker, Getting up there seeming like less and less of a possibility, with Caltrans officials telling us off camera I 80 would be closed indefinitely through the night. And CHP officials reminding drivers trying to brave the conditions when the roads open back up to be smart. We definitely want to make sure everyone gets home safe, get to their destination in a safe manner, and just so, like I said before, is to allow yourself enough time and um, slow down. So some drivers are getting through this roadblock here. If they live in this area locally, they can show their ID and Caltrans will let them through. Other than that, pretty much no one getting through other than, you know, Caltrans vehicles, emergency vehicles. But within the last five minutes, Caltrans did tweet that its plows are actively working the I-80 corridor. And a quick count on Quick Map shows 14 plows between Baxter and Truckee. Visibility is very low and there's still a lot of snow to clear. So a clear message from officials that I-80 looks like it's gonna continue to be closed because of those snowy conditions. And uh, we will continue to have updates at least for the next hour here in Colfax on the I-80 corridor. Reporting live, I'm Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.